same business, bitch. This is personal. I want to shoot you so bad. My dick's hard. My name is Nick, I uh, do vocals in Saint Breaker. Saint Breaker started off around the summer of 2013. The first lineup uh, was Jacob Williams on guitar, uh, Rutger White on vocals, Joey Casper on bass, and our buddy Daniel Nagar on drums. And it just kind of started off uh, like a cross pollination of like thrash and metal and you know, hardcore uh, from the very get go. You know, like, and Jacob also like you know grind as well. You know, like stuff like Napalm Death, PLF, you know, insect warfare. You know, very riff heavy. He always dug that. Well, lyrically, when it comes to same breaker stuff, because I'm the vocalist, I primarily write all the lyrics and stuff. But Jacob sometimes will throw ideas for like lyrical things my way. But a lot of the lyrics they just come from our inspirations. You know, I've always had an interest in you know history and all like that. This is uh, from the video shoot that we did for Beaten into Belief. We had Moonbag. Anus, it, they were supposed to play it, they ended up dropping, uh, unfortunately. But we also have, you know, Nosebleed, Gem, Intent. And we have like our album release show that we did. We got False Flag on that, which hardly ever see them play shows, so to have them be able to play that show is pretty sick. Uh, got off the noise, Stormbringer, Intent. Sermon did throw, you know, all, pretty much all of our buddies' bands. You know, we really lucked out being able to get our friends' bands to be able to play. Uh, yeah, this is something that was a little bit more recent, 2018. Mass Grave, Harm from LA. It's all of our buddies' bands that got to play. That was a really good show. Oh, yeah. This is uh, this is actually from the very first show that I ever played with Saint Breaker. That was the lineup: is Full of Hell. Uh, Noisem, Territory, Seas Will Rise. Ended up agreeing to that show because of Noisem. Really like Noisem, so Jacob asked me to play the show. I was like, sure, I'll jump on. And, uh, yeah. oh yeah, here's another one that was really cool. Winter Blast. This is my friend, my friend Eugene actually put this together. He doesn't really do shows anymore, but uh, back when he did, this was like one of his first big shows that he tried to do at 51 West. We had Get a Grip, had us, our bassists, old uh, thrash band Axe Wound, Heavy Breather, that was like one of the first shows. Wound Vac was also on there as well. Uh, Requiem, they're like a crust punk band from the Res. Uh, from Mars, that's my boy Kentish's band. And Yates, so that's a bunch of Navajo dudes that uh, started that band. They're really sick. But yeah. Quite cool stuff. Sebastian, bass player in Sandbreaker. Back then, you know, like, I just discovered the band System of a Down, and that was like the heaviest shit I've ever heard at the time. Uh, didn't really find any new music, heavier shit, until we were in the junior high, and that's when we discovered Slayer. It took over from there. Uh, thrash metal revolution was fun. That's when we started all smoking weed, too, so it kind of coincided, drinking beer and stuff. We used to go to this place called Stoner Island, which is, um, under the 60 on the, the Dawson exit, I believe, right by Desert Manor Hospital in Mesa. And it's just all graffiti underpass that we just smoke weed and drink beer and listen to metal and be fuck asses, pretty much. We used to go to UB's bar right on Broadway in Dawson, and that was like our home away from home. We'd sneak out the window at my parents' house, skate as fast as I could, you know, a couple miles down the street, get there. We used to see uh, Ex Mortis and Warbringer, Bonded by Blood, uh, Evil, Gobble Bomb, we saw Obituary there, we saw DRI there. 
shit. I met some of the greatest friends back there, just drinking alcohol and smoking weed and moshing the music. And yeah, just pretty much got tired of not being in the band. I uh, was jamming with my friends that I grew up with. And, you know, we were doing covers and things like that, but to not really take it seriously. And with the golden age of the internet, I posted on Facebook and first three dudes that said they were down became Saint Breaker in 2013. Four guys that wanted to commit, you know. Fast forward to 2015, a completely different lineup. Uh, but we're kicking ass, we put out Beaten the Belief 2015, which is really just a combination of all our influences of like thrash and grindcore, maybe some hardcore and stuff in there. Just pretty much everything that we were witnessing on the weekends when we'd go to shows. I mean, Arizona in general has always been huge for uh, extreme metal and you know we couldn't just ignore not to be influenced by that stuff that we're seeing every day it's just a hot breeding ground of you know all these great different elements of extreme metal and punk and everything in between and we just kind of took all of that and assessed it and pretty much stayed true to our roots and uh it is what it is now i think the number one thing i like most about the metal community is even if you go to a show alone, you don't really go to a show alone. You're bound to run into somebody you know, or at least meet someone who's cool. I mean, you're all there for the same thing anyways. That's the best part about, I think, being in a band too, playing music for people that appreciate it and uh, having people that really did your band, it, it just drives you, you know? And going on the road, uh, playing your own music for people and uh, meeting cool people along the way, it's always a plus. You know, I made some cool friends. That sense of community, it's always there. Being a part of the full terror soul, that's just something that you can't find anywhere else. I don't think that exists to that degree in other subcultures and other spectrums. I think Arizona just has that sense, you know? It's, it's hot as shit, so we're all crazy as fuck. We get along together and we mosh together and we put out some great fucking music. And I'm proud to be a part of that. Oh yeah, you, we, we're just jamming out. Come over and hang out with Paul and I. We're just having a little bit of fun. Yeah, um, yeah. Paul was our former drummer, and we used to yeah jam with Sebastian, teaching the songs, and then pretty much one day just asked him to play a show with us, and uh, it's been it's been so far. Yeah, it was like uh, 20, 2014 when I joined the band. Um, I think Nick had just joined the band a few months prior to that. Uh, Paul was still the drummer. Um, shortly after that. It was when uh, he kind of got a little tired of playing in the band and stuff like that. He was telling us he didn't want to want to really leave the band. And so immediately, we pretty much just got bands. And I feel like that's when like the actual lineup happened. That's when all the pieces came together and then started to form more. And it just felt like a lot more uh, right. Diego, he's a good friend of ours in Houston slash Austin, Texas. Great, great artist. He's worked with a bunch of uh, local Arizona bands and Texas bands, bands all over the world. And hit him up for some stuff and then we pretty much I think he hit black up. and white artwork. Yeah, he hit, super detailed. He hit him up for Saint Breaker right now. Yes. And we just got a shirt design and he just knocked it out of the park. That was one of like our first actual legit shirt designs and from there. Which one was that one? Was that the one with the uh Broken uh, Saint yeah. Um, yeah. Besides, yeah, yeah, besides yeah. that, he's done the beat and the brief, uh, full album artwork, and that was awesome for me to... The gatefold, the gate open it up, double-sided, I was just like, oh, this is so sick. It was pretty much exactly how I imagined it, but even better. Like, you know, I went into really big detail. And it's, it's all about, like, for us anyways, like, we like to put on a good show, you know, like, we like to get, we like to feel the energy, and when the crowd's going crazy and we go crazy, it, it's fun, you know, and that, that's what it's all about at the end of the day, it's about having fucking fun. So for me, it's like, I want to write some fun shit, some shit that I want to have fun to, that I want to go to a show, hear a band play, and be like, alright, cool, I didn't know I was going to jump in the pit tonight, but now I am. And that, that moment where you just get, you're all just chilling, and you're like, I'm just having a beer tonight, I'm just having a beer, and all of a sudden you see those riffs, and you're just like, it's go time. <laughs> Pretty much.